I'm John, and this is Maniac's Garage. And this What's is up? Ryan. And this What's is up, Jim. How's it going? And that's Nathan. Nathan, guest builder, back for the second time. Hey, what's up, guys? It's been a little while for the crew to be all together, but here we are. We're all together. And today what we're tackling, we're doing a few things, but what we're actually working on specifically is to rearrange the shop, clean it up, make it more user-friendly now that we have more projects. You guys have been seeing the 62 kind of coming out, so that's going to be the next uh, focus. While we're still finishing the 49, don't worry, we're gonna get it done. It's gonna be good. <laughs> this mess has been here since SEMA. We have not cleaned it since right. November. It's gotten worse, <laughs> in fact. All right, so thanks guys for watching. Make sure you hit that and uh, give us a thumbs up. Oh, you guys are wondering about this sweet t-shirt that I'm wearing? Oh yeah, you can have this too. You can find this at maniacsgarage.com. You guys can buy it, it comes in a bunch of different sizes. It actually comes in three different colors. I just always wear the black one, but you can get it in white or gray or black. And so, and we have beanies, we have hats, we have some other shirts on there as well. And pretty soon we're gonna have one of the 62 Monterey as well. But for now, you guys can pick this thing up, maniacsgarage.com. Thanks guys for supporting this channel. Oh, how did that go? So when we're moving this, I think we can just kind of go like this and kind of go da -da -da -da, right around that pole. You mean the hoist? Yeah, the hoist. Yeah, good thing it's got wheels there up on the wall that yeah. we can actually use, yeah. Let's uh, clean things out of the way first and then we can go move this thing over to the other corner of the shop there. Lee, what's going on over here? It is very loud. <laughs> Very oh loud. man, that's pretty cool. So the guys are actually working on a separate project over here. They're installing an air horn kit on UTVs actually, two of them in fact. Check it out, so here's here's the the unit right here. It's by Wolo, Wolo, Wolo. and it's a bad boy Max, and that's the bad boy, and that sounded pretty bad boy right there. Very loud. So 419, cool. mounted in easy, good, nice. good heavy duty hardware, and uh, sounds really loud. Pretty sweet. You gotta have it loud out there on the trail. Shells aren't going there. They're not going there, but but they are going from there to there, to there. in order for that to right. so let's fit get, here. We'll get it kind of turned around, get it over almost there, get the toolbox out, get that area clean, okay. and start moving shelves. Okay. Could use some manpower. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Probably should have checked the choke. And give it some beans. Straight back. Woohoo! She's in. Jim, what do you think of the 62? Oh, I'm super your, excited. Your new project. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this a lot. 
What we got? First day I've gotten to see it. I like it. I love the patina. It's gonna have a really cool look to it by the time we're done. Lots of polishing to do, but uh, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna stand out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the boys are back together. Isn't that cool? Look at this. We got matchy matchy shirts. Yeah. You can buy these at maniacsgarage.com. Yeah. Which will help fund this project now because that project is there. It's looking so good under that. Carcovers.com. No, no shameless plug there. <laughs> Actually, I paid for that one, that cover, but they are sending a new cover for me. So I did connect with carcovers.com. They have, this was not meant to be a commercial for them. <laughs> yeah. But they do have every application there is out there, and they do have several different lines of covers, whether it's an indoor cover, you know, just to keep dust off for show car stuff, or whether it's a, a full-on, you know, heavy-duty cover for outdoors. So carcovers.com. So what are we working on today, guys? We're, we're, uh, bye -bye. the art. <laughs> we're digging into the 62. We're yeah. on the art. 62. All right, so hey, thanks guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are Ryan, Jim, John, and this is Maniac's Garage. Cuts, the, cuts, to, cuts to the animated in sequence right there. So today, <laughs> we are working on our new project, Jim at the Lead 62 Mercury Monterey. Man, I just want to say Mercury Marauder every time because uh, yeah. that's just so much cooler. <laughs> Marauders are coming. Marauders. You know, but it's a Mercury Monterey, so we're going to have to settle for that <laughs> <laughs> so but here it is today's our very first work day on this project what are we gonna do today dude oh so today we will be pulling out the interior we're so plans on this vehicle is a whole new interior right whole new interior whole new interior but why it's pretty good still yeah it's pretty good it's in pretty good shape <laughs> <laughs> um everything but the seats yeah so so we're doing uh be new carpet seats Headliner. Today we're gonna to work on just pulling the door panels, pulling the seats out, you know. Um, so you know why is why are we doing a 1962 Mercury? Because it's really cool. So I'm actually pretty excited to get started on this thing. You know, uh, it the interior is complete for the most part. I mean, it's yeah. missing headliner and it's missing the carpet. I'm kind of excited to be ranching on a 62, you know, and just kind of just to, to get into the mindset of the engineers back in that time frame as to how they thought things should be mounted and, and put together. So I think it's going to be a fun ride. And so this is going to be our next series, kind of our main line for this year. Um, and we're still going to be Finishing some things up on the 49 Ford body swap BMW. Some really cool stuff coming yeah. on that too, actually, still. So, and, but, uh, so John actually yeah. found this car, right? Did, did a little Instagram piece on it. I saw it. I really liked it. I didn't go get to look at it with him. However, uh, I saw him. This was a Sunday he looked at it. Tuesday, I saw him and I was like, dude, I'm so excited to get ready to go on this car, this and that. I'm like, I can't wait to see what this thing comes out as. He's like... I didn't get it. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, so me being me, I like, I had to have it because yeah. I don't know. I just, I mean, did I ever say, man, I want to build a 1962 Mercury Monterey? No. That wasn't your high school dream? It wasn't. <laughs> but dude, I really like this car. It's got a lot of potential and, and I, I'm really excited and to have, you know, the opportunity to do it with this group. And I mean, I, I know the, it, it'll be good and we got a great interior guy. So yep. it's gonna yeah. be fun. We're not we're not doing the full on refabrication of the vehicle like with no. that one. That was a two year deal. We're hoping this is you know more of a, a six month. Yeah, thing. I think this one's gonna be a cool project. It's gonna be a little more attainable for people out there. You know. So here's the thing. So he bought this thing for fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred bucks. It starts. It moves. <laughs> I wouldn't drive it more than 20 feet right now. <laughs> it barely stops. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, some redoing on the brakes, whether it's gonna be upgraded to something better or not, but it's gonna definitely be gone through to be mechanically safe. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's gonna be a really cool project to follow. I think, you know, the way that this thing fell into your lap with the 62, I mean, that's kind of how the 49. I had an inkling for the 49 Ford. I like shoebox Fords. I was looking for them actively online. Then the whole thing kind of just came together and then putting it on a BMW, you know, that was, you know, kind of, again, just kind of fell into its place. Some of you that follow us, you know that, uh, 
We're believers in Christ, and our cars have a theme to them. So the 49 Ford is called Born Again, Born 49 in, so Born Again 49 Ford. This thing, I think, I don't know, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. going to be, so it kind of fell into place because we weren't planning on a 62 big old boat. Big old boat. Big old boat. Big old boat. boat. But I think this may be called the Ark. I don't know. Yeah. So, because yeah, it's... Done a massive, massive boat. Yes. Yeah, let's, you want to get working? Let's tear this in All right, park. let's get working. One thing I personally really like about this car is the, the roof line and the windows line. The, the whole body is like flat right here. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the cars from back in these days seemed like they had a really tall roof and really large windows. Thus, the reason everybody chops them to get that really low window line. Sure, this would look cool if it was chopped down a little bit more, but that's a ton of work. These already have a fairly short roof compared to other cars of the day. The windshield's got a nice slope. It's got a cool wrap around the windshield, really curved. The other part of it is the back glass is totally flat. Yeah. The roof just kind of comes back, it chops down at an angle, and the, the rear window just goes flat across. And for me, visually, that's just a really neat aspect of this car. And the it's patina. Oh, Dude, the wow. patina is worth fifteen hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get yeah. working already. Yeah. So this just had looks like two bolts down at the bottom here, and then it lifts off the back. The bottom of the back seat just basically popped out. Well, that actually was pretty easy. Yeah, but I think Ryan's got something a little harder going on over here. Yeah, yeah we're trying to figure out how these. Uh, Are you breaking it, dude? How these handles come off? Why are you so mad at it? Don't get mad at it. I've been frust been working on this for a bit. I know. Um, I don't know if this is actually what's holding the holding it on, or if this was a secondary piece, but it started coming off. So. So how it comes? Usually, there's like a little kind of a retaining ring on the back, kind of a C-clip, so to speak. Um, I'm not sure what this clip is doing, if this is part of that, or what. We'll catch up with you in a minute. Yeah. We don't wanna, yeah. We don't wanna see the damage. Ford interior parts. Straight out of Compton. One, two. Oh, hold on. Seat belt. Uh oh. Oh. This seat belt does have seat belts. What? I could have sworn that these things did not have seat belt yet. Does this flip forward by chance? I have to do it on this side too. I do. Why is the seat belts are stuck into the seat. Belt. 